Hello dear friends, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Seven Engineer. Today we are going to learn quantity estimation of bridge width T beams. This video lecture is very important for several engineers and quantity surveyors. So watch the video full and if you have any question, feel free to ask in comment box. And please do like this video. Let's start today's discussion. To learn quantity estimation of bridge efficiently, we have selected an example that states that estimate the cost and quantities of different items of work of RCC T beam decking, including beam per a bridge of one span of six meter section, is given in figure. Assume 45 centimeter bearing on either abutment. The mild steel reinforcement are 2.5 percent in beam and 1 percent in slab and post. Density of mild steel is 78.5 quintal per cubic meter. Here you can see that a complete cross-sectional drawing of the slab is provided. Here it is given that the span length is 6 meter. The overall width of the slab deck is 7.70 meter. The width of roadway is 7 meter. The thickness of the slab deck is 20 centimeter. The thickness of T-beam is 35 centimeter and the overall depth of T-beam is 75 centimeter. Clear span between two T beam is 225 centimeter. At the top of each T beam, 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter fillet is provided. On slab deck, 10 centimeter bearing coat of 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 cement concrete is provided. On each side of the roadway, 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter curb is provided. For safety purpose, on each side, RCC concrete post is provided having cross sectional dimension 15 cm by 15 cm and its height is 120 cm. It is given in the statement that steel reinforcement is 2.5% in beam and 1% in slab and post. Four numbers of 40 mm dia GI pipes are also provided between the post, which you can witness in this cross-sectional diagram. We have calculated the quantities of each item of work in tabular form. In this table, you can see that the first column represents serial number, second column description of item, third column number, fourth column length, fifth column breadth or width, sixth column height or depth, seventh column quantity, and eighth column remarks. In the remarks column, we generally put some hidden details or formula for the given item of work. The first item of work which we have to calculate is RCC work in which 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 concrete is used. In this RCC work, we have excluded steel and its binding, but its centering and binding of bars are included. Steel quantity and its binding is calculated in separate item of work. First, we will calculate RCC work quantity for T beam ribs. Here in this cross sectional figure, you can see that there are three T beams. So the number of T beam is three. Total length of T beam will be equal to clear span, which is six meter, plus two bearings. Here, putting values in this equation, we will get six meter, which is clear span, plus two times bearing, because it is given that on each side 0.45 meter or 45 centimeter bearing is provided. So the total length of the T-beam will be 6.90 meter. The breadth of the T-beam is 35 centimeter. So in meter it will become 0.35 meter. And the total height or depth of the T-beam is 75 centimeter or 0.75 meter. Now just multiply these four values we will get total quantity of RCC work for this T beam ribs, which is 5.434 cubic meter. Now we will calculate the quantities of material for each fillet. Here the number of fillets will be 3 multiplied by 2 because number of beams is 3 and at each beam one fillet is provided on each side of the beam. So the total number of the fillets are 6. The length of the fillet will also be equal to the length of the T-beams which is 6.90. Is It is triangular 
fillet and we know that the cross sectional area of the triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times its breadth multiplied by its height or altitude so 1 over 2 times 0.15 multiplied by 0.15 will be the cross sectional area of each fillet after multiplying these all quantities we will get the total quantity of rcc work for these fillets is 0.466 cubic meter now we will calculate concrete quantity for deck slab we know that the number of slab is only one the length of the slab will also be equal to the length of the beam which is 6.90 meter the total breadth of the slab is 7.7 .7 meter the thickness or depth of slab is 0.20 meter after multiplication of all these quantities we will get 10.626 cubic meter now we will also calculate concrete quantity for railing post as it is mentioned that six posts are provided on each side so total number of posts on both side will be 2 multiplied by 6 dimensions of the railing post can be seen that it is 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter the height of the railing post is 120 centimeter multiplying these quantities we will get total quantity of concrete power railing post is 0.324 cubic meter we will also calculate concrete quantity for curves total number of curves is 2 one on each side its length is 6.90 meter its cross sectional dimension is 0 0.20 multiplied by 0 0.20 after simple calculation we will get total quantity for curves is 0.552 cubic meter now we will calculate total rcc work quantity that can be obtained by summing all these quantity so total quantity of rcc work 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 concrete is 17.402 cubic meter we have calculated first item of work that is rcc work in 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 concrete now we will calculate other items of work that includes concrete work in wearing coat you can see that wearing coat number is just one its length is 6.90 its width is 7 meter its thickness is 10 centimeter because 10 centimeter is the average thickness of this wearing coat and after multiplying all these quantities we will get total quantity of concrete work in wearing coat that is 4.83 cubic meter the third item of work is 40 millimeter dia gi or galvanized iron pipe in railing as you can see that on each side four numbers of 40 millimeter dia gi pipes are provided so on both sides the number of gi pipe will be 2 multiplied by 4 the length of each gi pipe will be 6.90 meter after multiplying these two quantities we will get the quantity of gi pipe is 55.20 running meter because we calculate because quantity of pipes are generally calculated in running meters fourth and last items of work is steel reinforcement bars including binding first we will calculate quantity of steel for beam which is 2.5 percent of total volume of beam here you can see that 3 is the number of beam 6.90 is the length of beam 0.35 is the width of beam 0.95 is the full depth a beam including slab thickness depth of beam is 75 centimeter plus 20 centimeter of slab it will become 0.95 meter or 95 centimeter multiplied by 2.5 percent which is steel reinforcement in beam multiplied by 78.5 which is the density of mild steel used in this rcc work after simple calculation we will get quantity of steel for beams is 13.50 quintal quintal is the unit of weight one quintal is equal to 100 kilograms or one ton is equal to 10 quintal steel reinforcement in slab is one percent of the total quantity as we have already calculated the volume of slab that is 10.626 cubic meter multiply by one percent which is the quantity of steel used in slab multiply by 78.5 which is density of mild steel after simple calculation we will get 8.34 quintal so the quantity of steel in slab will be 8.34 quintal now we will also calculate 
quantity of steel for railing forced. In railing forced, the steel percentage is also 1%. Using the same method, we will get this is the volume of concrete for railing post multiplied by 1% multiplied by unit weight of mild steel. After simple calculation, we will get 0.25 quintal. Now we will calculate the total quantity of steel reinforcement required for this bridge, which can be obtained by adding these three quantities. So the total quantity of steel reinforcement bars for this bridge is 22.09 quintal. So we have calculated all the quantities for this bridge now we will calculate the total cost for this project now we will also prepare abstract of cost in the following table the first column in the table is item number the second is description of items of work the third is quantity the fourth is unit fifth is rate the sixth is rate for and the seven is total amount so the first item of work is rcc work 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 excluding steel and its bending but including centering and binding of bars the quantity of this item of work we have already calculated in previous slide that is 17.402 for concrete work cubic meter units or cubic feet units are generally used for measuring and estimation work a rate per cubic meter for rcc work is 70 dollar this rate depends upon country of work and it also fluctuates with time so multiplying this value with this we will get total amount for this item of work which is 1218.14 dollar the second item of work is concrete work in wearing coat the total quantity of concrete work in wearing coat is 4.83 calculated in previous slides the unit of work for this is also cubic meter the rate for this i have selected is 50 dollar after multiplying these two value we will get total amount is 241.5 dollar the third item of work is 40 millimeter dia gi pipe in railing we have calculated the total quantity of GI5 is 55.20. The unit for this quantity is running meter because the quantity of pipes are generally measured in running meter. The rate for one running meter of GI5 is $4. So by multiplying quantity with rate, we will get total amount is $220.8. The fourth and last item of work is steel reinforcement bars including binding. We have already calculated this quantity which is 22.09 quintal. Rate of steel bars per quintal is $75. After multiplying 22.09 with 75, we will get total amount is $1656.75. Now to determine total cost, just add all these quantities, we will get total cost is $3337.19. Now add 5% contingencies and work charge establishment. 5% of this value will be $166.86. Now grand total or total cost of the bridge will be $3,504.05. So we have calculated all the quantities of items of work and we have also calculated the total cost of the bridge. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. Full for more updated videos about quantity survey and civil engineering, please keep in touch. And if you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive notification of upcoming videos. And do not forget to like this video. Thank you very much.